Some Ocean Beach parents say the scariest part of their day is walking their kids to and from school. Olabi Elementary School is located along a main artery, which comes with heavy traffic and drivers breaking the law a lot. As tennis reporter Amanda Brandeis explains, volunteer crossing guards invested in new technology to make sure the roads are safe. Come on through. On the wettest and grayest of days. Hey, everybody, cross the streets. OB Elementary parents can count on the neon vest of Crossing Crusaders to light up the morning. Good morning. If you want to cross by Wayne Simard, it'll cost you. Can I have a high five? Get it. He started manning the street six years ago when his son was in kindergarten. Yeah, you're going a little too fast. He saw the intersections were dangerous and that no one was there to protect the kids. Yeah, there was nothing. No, it was just me and my hands in a bright yellow shirt. Since then, he's upgraded the uniform, recruited other parents and rarely misses a day. Today's my birthday. I could be in the worst mood. I could be in the worst pain. As soon as I step onto that crosswalk, I'm golden. The school is located on a main access road to the freeway. Most parents walk their kids to school. It can be a little scary. We have a lot of red light runners. See a yellow at this time in the morning. It seems that most people step on the gas rather than the brake. Crossing guards say they see the law broken every day. I had one crossing guard challenged by a non-parent, just a regular driver. He didn't want to stop and wait for the kids, so he got too close to my crossing guard and hit his leg with his car. Incidents no like these inspired Samar to step up his own security security, find body cameras with his own money for the crossing guards. It's actually my crossing guard code cam right there. Samard hopes the cameras will protect his guards from incidents with angry drivers. And if he captures something illegal, he'll try to give it to police. At the very least, it'll give him some peace of mind. Good morning. Because Samar doesn't plan on leaving his post for a while. In Ocean Beach. <laughs> Right, there you go. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. Great volunteers. Both the school and the crossing guards say they're in talks with the city to make the intersection safer. There's a GoFundMe started by parents to get more safety signs and tools for those crossing guards. If you would like to help out, there is a link on 10news.com right there under the red television button.